How do I feel about it today? Looking back on those days? Well, it's coming up on 30 years ago and it still seems like yesterday. It was truly the best of times and the worst of times. So, in 1929, the year the market crashed, my great uncles started one fur store that they grew into many, becoming the largest retail specialty outerwear company in the US. They brought my grandfather in shortly after he married their sister, and he brought my father in for a short time before my parents divorced. It was kind of predetermined for me. I think the one thing that sticks out for me, different from all the other legacy employees I worked with there, who were following in their parents' or grandparents' footsteps as well, is that my family, lives were lost because of the stress of it all, because of our connection to this. We were just a group of wannabe business people, growing up with hope in an industry that was about to smack us down before we could get there. So. Combined with my own personal regrets, that's what lingers for me. Beginning in the early 80s, there was a pending sense of doom. A desperation settled in over every move we made, every conversation we had. In our hearts, I think many of us now, we'd admit that we felt it coming. And for me at least, no amount of fun, alcohol, or drugs could mask what was going on and there was plenty of it all. It challenged the human spirit day in and day out and was unlike anything I'd seen before or have seen since. I don't know if I'd say we flew too close to the sun because if that was the case, we would have burnt up a lot sooner. We pulled every gimmick we had out of the playbook to try and reverse course. From sales to celebrities, none of it worked. Our plane was in an irreversible tailspin. The first time, it was just a handful of protesters outside on Black Friday, but you felt protected by the physical barrier of the store itself. By the time they were chaining themselves to the racks and handcuffing themselves to the fixtures, we knew we were sunk. Our passion for what we did paled in comparison to their commitment to their cause. Lessons learned? Well, we all now know that when you get to the top of the highest peak, there's only one direction that you can go.